Kennedy, good morning. So often I get asked why cities of similar latitude can have very different forecasts and very different uh, years in terms of climate. We think the further north we go, the colder it gets, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if you compare two cities, uh, don't bring the graphic up just yet, but compare two cities like Vancouver and Winnipeg, they actually have pretty similar latitudes. The latitude in Vancouver is 49.28 uh, degrees north and Winnipeg is 49.9 degrees north. But we know that Vancouver and Winnipeg have totally different forecasts. Mm -hmm. So then you have to start looking at the geography. Let's look at the temperature spread for these two cities through the year. Vancouver uh, bottoms out at about 1.4, this is in January, and peaks just over 22 in July and August. Winnipeg bottoms out at minus 21 in oh, January. Winter peg. Yep, yes. and can peak uh, around the mid-20s in July. And of course we can have kind of anomalies outside of this, these are just the averages. What we have to look at is the geography. It's called the maritime influence. And anytime you're near a very large body of water, like the Pacific Ocean, even though it's not what we call the maritimes, we call, of course, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PEI are maritime provinces, but that maritime influence exists next to the Pacific Ocean as well. Bodies of water don't heat up really fast. Mm -hmm. They don't cool down really slow, uh, quickly either. So that impacts the land right near it. Our prairie provinces, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, there aren't large bodies of water, <laughs> so yes. you don't get that same uh, moderating effect. It's called a continental climate. And so we often see our largest annual temperature spread, our lowest temperatures and our highest temperatures smack in the middle of a country, mm -hmm. away from the water. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Winnipeg, you win. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, it explains why uh, cities that are on the same latitude can have two very different forecasts. It's not a hard and fast rule. You can see variations within this, but it's something that you can often uh, abide by. So That's interesting. fascinating. Thank you, Kels. Yeah.